Hi, I'm Lee Partridge. Welcome back to Cole UTV. It's our midweek show as uh, we take a look back at the action from Saturday and ahead to this weekend's two games against Stevenage and Crewe. Before that, you may have seen the launch of the Season Ticket Holders Forum on Tuesday next week. You need to email the club ticketing at colchesterunited.net to confirm your attendance for that. And all the information is on the website. A quick reminder that tickets for both of the next two games remain on sale, as well as the eye follow passes for both of those. Right, back to last weekend, and it was a goalless draw against Newport. Let's take a look back at the highlights, followed by the thoughts from Ben Garner afterwards. Ben, disappointed that it was only a draw given the performance today? I think first 10 minutes, disappointed not to get the goal because I think that would have completely changed the complexion of the game. We, we started so well, really good tempo, really good intensity to our game, forcing corners, forcing set pieces, we had, you know, opportunities. Um, and we didn't take it and then that allows them to kill the game a little bit. You know, they take the time with restarts and set pieces and, and it, the game becomes a bit bitty. Uh, we finished this first half really strong again and had a good spell at the end of the first half. And, and in second half, we have the two best chances of the game. And we take one of those. We, we obviously go on to win it. Real positive with a clean sheet. But yeah, disappointed we haven't taken all three. Yeah, and in those periods of dominance, it is all about you know, getting that goal when you are on top and when you have got to create those not so much clear-cut chances in that first 10, 15 minutes, but the pressure we put on you, Paul. Absolutely. I think that it, it changes the game. If we score early... They won't run down the clock. They won't slow the game because they, they need to score. They need to get back in the game. So it completely changes the complexion of the game. And that, that was all that was missing in the game for me, just getting getting that goal to get us ahead. Um, defensively, very, very strong. A really good clean sheet, which is a positive for us to, to build on. Um, and we have to stay positive moving into this this next run of games. Yeah. And, and when the players are disappointed not to win a game in the change room afterwards, how easy or difficult is it to keep them positive, keep them you know, reiterating them points about we were the better team again for yeah. probably the third week in a row and we haven't won? Yeah, we could easily be sitting here with nine points from the last three. We've, we've, we've taken three. We've, we've stopped sort of the, the right, if you like, of the run of defeats. And um, yeah, we just need some wins on the board. But it's not difficult to lift those players. There's, a, there's an element of disappointment now. But by the time we come in next week, that's gone. They're ready to work again. Uh, they're a really good group in terms of their attitude and application. The spirit's there. Everyone can see that. Um, and we, you know, we go to Stevenage and, and, and go there looking to win the game. Yeah, and in the second half when you make the substitutions, the substitutes are different players to the ones coming off, but there seems to be a continuation of what you're trying to do and, and they seem to know their jobs and, and you've mentioned it before, you will use all the substitutes you can if needed. Yeah, I think we, we had to today in, in that respect. I mean, we weren't planning on taking Connor Hall off, but um, obviously we, we had to do that because he'd, he'd taken a knock. 
Um, but yeah, it, with Newport, the, the challenge you have is, for example, I want to get him Freddie on, but then if you're taking Tom Hoppy, you're losing Hops defending the set pieces, and they're they're very good off that. So we didn't want to weaken ourselves in them situations. So you, you're balancing what we need in open play with about weakening at set pieces and handing them an advantage. So that was the challenge in terms of the changes today. That'll be similar at Stevenage next week because they're also very good in that respect. Um, but again, the, you know, the commitment of the group, the way we've gone about our business, the, the desire to win is there. I think everyone can see that. We need a little bit of fortune. We're not, we're not, we're not getting a rubber to green with anything really. We, the only way to change that is to keep working hard and it will turn, it yeah. will turn. And obviously a couple of results didn't go our way. Is it a case of not ignoring the table, but just saying to the players, stay positive, we know what we're doing, yeah. and of course it's still in our hands. Absolutely, that is still in our hands. Uh, if we take care of business, we're fine. That's that's the, the message. We have to control what we can control. We can't get worried about what's going on here and what's going on there. That doesn't help anything. All our energy needs to go into us, our preparations, our performances. And if we do that to the best of our abilities as a group, then we'll be fine. A point in the right direction, and as Ben says, there's plenty of positives to take into this weekend's games. It was a good clean sheet for Kieran O'Hara and the back three, and we spoke to Fikra Kelleher here in the studio after the game. Fikra, really frustrating game because from the sidelines, it felt that we were the dominant side that wanted to go and win it, and unfortunately just couldn't score that vital goal. Yeah, yeah, I felt like that during the game. Um, obviously really pleased with the clean sheet. That was something that we were um, really wanting during the week and that we were working hard on to make sure that we got that. So from that aspect, it was pleasing. Um, but yeah, just the, the three or four good chances that we had, we just turned them into goals and I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, and it is that real balance at the moment, isn't it, of being, keeping that positivity around the group because the performances that in the last three games just, you know, maybe turning those draws into, into victories. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just, being a uh, having a calm head in those in those uh, situations when we have that chance, um, and just making sure that you know we make the right decision at the right time in front of the goal, really. And for defenders, a clean sheet is a, a big thing. So we mentioned it there; it's a positive, and it is now something we can build on into the Easter weekend. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think today um, they kind of came here with a game plan to to stick things on us. They had big big throw ins, you know, set pieces. They were a big team, aggressive. Um, I thought we matched that really well and uh, yeah I think in there we're as a back five we're really pleased with that clean sheet and just making sure now that for these last few games that we give the team that platform to you know that they know that we're solid at the back, back and that we can just let them go and get that goal for us then. Mm. As a centre half personally was that last couple of minutes a little bit nervy with the, then throwing a um, few balls into the box just yeah, in that last few? A, a little bit yeah but I'd like to think that um, you know that's why I'm here and that's why they've brought people like me like Holly to the to the club that in those situations we have to stand up and I think use our, our physicality and yeah I like to say we, we did well in those in those situations then. And obviously the, the new manager's been in, in place for a little while now are the players getting used to everything he wants now and you know, kind of uh, adapting to his way of thinking. I think so. Yeah, I think um, from what you can see, we're we're trying to get um, a little phase of play where we work uh, work the the opposition um, and get a little slide pass down the side of them and get things into the box. And I think the main thing he wants is just to bring that intensity, that that quick um, quickness in our play. Um, I think today you can see it in drips and drabs, um, but it's just making sure we're doing it a bit more consistently. As Freakra says there, the lads are looking forward to this weekend's games. Back to the voting for the first team goal of the month for March. And of course, it was Noah Chilver's late strike against Leighton Orient. Let's take a look back at that once again. Here's Chilvers again. There's an Orient player on the ground. Sears wants it through the middle. Chilvers carries on with his run. Left footed. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from Noah Chilvers. And look at the celebration involving Ben Garner, who punches in the air along with his coaching staff because Noah Chilvers is back and so are Colchester United. What a brace! What a response! Just when so many people have written him off, they're back on level terms against top of the table, Leighton Orient. And what a goal by Noah Chilvers! Leighton Orient 2, Colchester United 2. 
brilliant strike from Noah there to take a point against High Flying Leighton Orient. We'll be launching the Academy Goal of the Month in just a mo. But first, we'll let you know the games that are coming up this week for Colchester United. The first team are away to Stevenage on Good Friday and crew here on Easter Monday. Tickets and I follow passes are available for both of those. The under-21s travel to Hull City on Friday the 14th at 2pm and we'll keep you updated on how that one goes. And also the under-18s are away to Wigan, that's tomorrow. And once again, we'll keep you updated on how that one pans out too. Speaking of the academy... There have been some great goals scored by the 18s and 21s, so let's take a look at those now. Some brilliant strikes there from the young Colchester United players and we'll be launching that vote very shortly. Keep an eye across the socials to see that one and to vote for your favourite. That's pretty much it from me now. I'll be back on Monday with a pre-match show ahead of the crew game. If you are going to Stevenage, safe journeys to and from the game. If you can't make it to the game, don't forget it's on iFollow and that's the same with the crew game as well. Look, have a great week, whatever you're up to. And until next time, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>